fell like a mushroom in a dark room, slowly, slowly, slowly growing all by itself. That's not how our brains are biologically programmed to develop. Our brains are biologically programmed to develop through social interaction. That is, it's caught uh, the specialists in this field called serve and response. So this is the way all of our brains have developed. Some, the, the baby, the infant, issues some signal like goo goo, and some nearby adult says woo goo goo goo. And then the child responds by saying woo goo goo, and the nearby adult says, oh, it's just like your mother. <laughs> that, that certain response pattern is how our brains develop. And Miriam was getting a ton of that from her parents, because and her grandparents. I mean, her parents, Miriam, our daughter, our, our granddaughter, got a ton of time with her parents reading to her, and her grandmother reads to her all the time, and, and I even occasionally read to her. Meanwhile, remember, Miriam, I mean, Mary Sue, was locked behind the baby age, and she wasn't getting that. And that's not just a matter of how at that moment she was enjoying or not enjoying herself. That was doing almost permanent damage to the brain of these two kids. I don't, I don't want to say permanent because it's possible to, to, it is possible to overcome the effects of that infant deprivation. But the longer you, it goes uncorrected, the worse, it, the harder it is to change. And it affects lots of the important things like measure IQ. Measure IQ is not just a function of genes. It's, it's a function of how your brain was treated when you were younger. So that's why that graph is, is so important. Let's have the next slide, a couple more. Um, OK, so I'm trying to do, use similar examples. Um, that on the left is trends in family dinners. So family dinners is a part of style. Do you raise your hand to know what I mean by family dinner? I'm not going to get it again. 